Humans of the cardboard. I need to catch up on a bunch of news we have missed while I was gone over the past week and there were some big, big ones. This video we are covering blue eyes. We got three more cards from the structure deck following the initial four cards revealed, which does mean we have one card left. Kind of have no idea what it's going to be at this point because I think we have like two main deck monsters, two extra deck monsters, two spells in a trap i think so far like we're kind it's kind of open season on what this last card could be but uh last year the last card was ponix which was literally the most powerful card in the fire king structure deck so you know there's a world where they make something really nasty here as the final reveal but until then we uh we at least need to get over these this next wave of cards here the first wave we thought was pretty dang good let's see how the second wave goes so we start here with neo kaiser seahorse this is a level four light dragon tuner a lot of weird stats here, but this is based on regular uh, what, Kaiser Seahorse. By being Neo Kaiser Seahorse, changing him from, I think, Sea Serpent to Dragon. And just giving him more Kaiba Blue Eyes aesthetic. But Which is cool, because they did that same thing with like Gear for the Iron Knight with like Joey's Red Eyes cards. I'm working him into the archetype, which is cool. Alright, same stats as uh, Kaiser Seahorse, I believe. And he has three hard ones per turn effects. The first card reads, If you control Blue Eyes White Dragon, you can special summon this card from your hand. Yes, it is classic blue eyes white dragon so this card is not just summoning to the field if you control any blue eyes card which does hurt its flexibility in the archetype but doesn't kill it entirely second effect you can target one light tuner you control increase or decrease its level by one that's kind of nice because this it can target itself here he is a light tuner so he can make himself a three four or a level five tuner to make synchro plays into really probably a, a plenty of different things depending on what else you're pairing on the field with this card. So that's actually low-key nice as well. And the third effect, and I think it's probably the most important effect on this card, if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can send one Blue Eyes monster or monster that mentions Blue Eyes White Dragon from your deck to the graveyard. I know some of the like Maiden card, or what I can't remember the exact name of the other monster from the structure deck, the new main deck monster. She's pretty good to have in grave because she just reborns herself when you summon like a Blue Eyes. Um, he could dump Blue Eyes itself if you don't have it in rotation and you really want it. Uh, I know there's stuff like Blue Eyes Jet Dragon as well, which is another good card uh, in the archetype. There's actually uh, a handful of really good things you can be dumping here. Um, so this is probably the main effect of this card, especially since once you see at the end of the, this wave of cards, um, there's a new Link 1. So you can just go ahead and normal, even normal summon this guy and go straight into the Link 1 to get in grave and then trigger this to get a Foolish. That is basically a full-on play on its own, um, which is really cool. Um, so I like this card. I think it's a good card all in all. I also like that like it doesn't have to be... It's not a normal summoner bust. If you have another card to get your plays going that puts Blue Eyes on the field... That makes this card open as an extender, um, which is really good. So I, I think this card actually seems pretty decent. It absolutely could have a place in the deck for sure. All right, next up we have a trap card. First trap card for the structure deck. Needs to be pretty good to actually see play in the deck. Let's see. This is Majesty with Dragons of White. Normal trap. You can only use the first and second effects once per turn. Show up to three Blue Eyes White Dragons from your hand, face up field, and or graveyard. Then destroy that many cards your opponent controls. Second effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard to Ritual Summon a Ritual Monster from your hand by tributing Blue Eyes White Dragons from your hand or field whose total levels equal the exact level of that Ritual Monster. That's pretty terrible. Uh, and like, here's my thing. Like, this first effect is not like the worst effect in the world, but like most likely, we really only want to have to get one Blue Eyes in rotation. We probably ideally only have to play one Blue Eyes at most. Ideally, we wouldn't have to play any, but I think the deck's going to require us to at least play one. Um, and that makes this card really not worth it. And an, as an anime-style card, it's really cool, right? You get rewarded for getting multiple Blue Eyes in rotation, and even gives you the potential to get uh, the Ritual Blue Eyes Chaos Ritual Max guy out, um, which is clearly what this card is like trying to get you to do. Um, I just don't see it. I, I, I really don't see this card uh, seeing play in the archetype, even if it is searchable. And the final card, and definitely the real big banger from this little wave, uh, Blue Eyes cards, these three, is Spirit with Eyes of Blue. A new Link 1 for Blue Eyes. Who would have guessed it? This card's crazy. I love, by the way, the, the design on this, that it's just like a little baby Blue Eyes like that just like broke out of its shell. Um, it's really, really cool. Alright, uh, Link 1 Light Dragon, of course. Uh, 300 attack, and it points bottom left, so it does still point down, which is nice as well. He takes any level 4 or lower dragon or spellcaster. I've seen some cool things with this card already. 
uh, where like even out of archetype, you could even mess with like the invoked engine in this archetype and just go like uh, go into Alistair and like link Alistair off for this card, uh, and then use and then when you use this card to like uh, tribute itself to like reborn the bl a regular blue eyes or something, he's now a light engrave that you can just banish with invocation for a Macaba before fifth summon. Um, and it gets a good amount of stuff. It gets you like Blue Eyes plus Macaba basically by itself without um, without playing into Nibiru, which is kind of cool. Um, there's going to be better normal summons. Like I think the Neo Kaiser uh, Seahorse does a little bit more overall. But in terms of safety, like there are some cool plays like that, like going with Alistair there. All right. Uh, anyway, though, the actual effects of this card. If this card is Link Summoned, you can take one Mausoleum of White from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. That's really cool because Mausoleum of White has an effect on field uh, as well as the graveyard, uh, which is really cool. So I like that you get to pick one or the other. Um, this is this card, uh, which you can look at on your own, like we're just doing a more general discussion today. Um, Mausoleum is more of, uh, kind of gives me, it gives me hard, um, this whole situation gives me hard, rocket vibes with like striker dragon with uh the boot sector launch like boot sector launch was never a card you would have played in rocket or dragon decks ever except they made it one of the most easily accessible cards like in the game for an archetype right and so that's kind of what we have here is like mausoleum of white there's a reason no one's ever can really wanted to play it in blue eyes in any kind of competitive fashion but now that you get it for absolute free and it just puts a vanilla blue eyes in rotation, that works, right? So I really like that. Um, it does have a restriction on the second effect. You cannot special summon monsters except for dragons. That's only while this card is on the field. So um, not that big of a deal, especially when you look at the third effect, which starts with tribute this card is cost. So it clears itself off the field really quickly to then make that second effect live. Or I mean that, uh, that restriction gone. So you contribute this card to special summon a blue eyes monster from your hand or grave, but if it's an effect monster, it can't attack and it is negated. Um, which makes me think, like, why would you summon a non-vanilla blue eyes? But I'm sure there are scenarios. Um, but for the most part, you're probably just summoning back your vanilla blue eyes. I think the goal is to get the girl from the first wave of the structure deck in graveyard, in rotation. Then you go into this card sending a vanilla blue eye or get mausoleum mausoleum send the vanilla blue eyes then you tribute this card to summon back the vanilla blue eyes and then the girl engraved comes back as well as a level one tuner boom that's a synchro nine that at least gets you into the whatever spirit dragon uh synchro it's a pretty good card and then the deck has the new uh kind of omni negate ish it's not a full omni negate but it's like a it's a good negate uh that you can tag into for for good interruption so I think that's like the main goal here. The deck already, even with the first wave, already was kind of showing some promise in terms of being able to pump out, uh, you know, multiple of those spirit dragons. And um, this only helps, right? I think this guy has a place in the deck some way, shape, or form. I think, obviously, this this card's at least a two of in the deck, probably. Nah, it's a one of, maybe a two of. No, it's probably still a two of just because of that reborn effect. It's a really, really good card. Uh, it, it just gives me striker dragon vibes. Now, it's not as generically applicable to just, like, dragon decks at large, just because Blue Eyes doesn't mix quite as cleanly, but still good. It's definitely still good. And uh, I think functionally does a lot of what striker dragon did for dragon link overall. Just not as uh, much on a generic, you know, plane. Um, but still really, really good. So... Um, really, really cool to see. Um, like I said, this leaves, I believe, one more slot open for the structure deck. And from what we've seen, two main deck monsters, two main deck spells, a trap, and two extra deck monsters. This leaves me in a weird place where I'm like, what's the last card going to be? I'm, I guess I lean main deck monster just because like three main deck monsters kind of feels right if you have three spell and traps total. But like, I really have no idea. Uh, I guess maybe I lean, like, main deck monster that actually has blue eyes in the name. Because, like, to be fair, Kaiser Seahorse uh, can foolish any blue eyes monster. And while I said there are some decent targets, they're not, like, out of this world. So, like, is there is it possible the last card in the structure deck is, like, a legit really good target to foolish burial? Um, that would be kind of cool to see. Kind of neat. Um, but we'll obviously have to wait and see on that uh, for when that gets revealed. Uh, I don't think the structure deck comes out until, like the first week of september so we have a little under a month left before the structure deck comes out 
Um, my guess we that we're like three weeks away, probably about a week away from the set straight up coming out. They will probably reveal that final blue eyes card. Do not give up hope on the structure if you haven't been impressed yet. Although I don't really see how you wouldn't at least think it's like kind of cool so far. But you never know, right? The Fire King Shark deck looked really mid until Ponyx was the final card. So just keep that in mind. Um, last thing to, that I want to touch on here real quick, and I might make a full-on video going into this, but like Konami should do this more often. Konami should make some of the most hype fan favorite decks across like just Yu-Gi-Oh! As a, as a medium, or as a medium, as, a, uh, as just like a uh, franchise better. Because it, it can pull more people into the competitive side of the game. So any of those nostalgic people who watch the anime, um, or maybe play just play or just nostalgic for the deck in general, um, whoever messed around with Blue Eyes, if you were going to tell them like Blue Eyes is a legit solid playable deck because Konami gave them a legit really good wave of support finally, like I feel like that would just actually make for more players like playing the game in general. Uh, so like. If they do this and it does really well, it's their world where Konami turns around and next year we get a Dark Magician structure deck. A I know like Masked Heroes are already kind of in line to get a structure deck sometime soon. Cyber Dragons, another like deck that's not in line to get a structure deck soon. Like, you know what I mean? Is, is there a world where they turn around and say, you know what, let's lean into this, right? Let's make these archetypes that haven't been good for a little bit better and it's only going to behoove us anyway because our fan base is going to be bigger. We're going to make more money because of that. And we're going to pull some more fans in from, from other areas, which I think makes a lot of sense. So as someone who just is a huge proponent of the game, I'm always trying to, I always want the game to do be bigger and better. I think this is actually something that could help is like really big fan favorite themes uh, actually being somewhat relevant competitively. So um, we'll see. I don't think this deck is going to be like tier one just yet, but like, uh, it, it definitely has competitive potential, even with just the cards we have now. So um, I think I think we're going in a good direction. But I'm out of here for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, let me know your thoughts down below uh, on one these three new cards with blue eyes, two maybe where uh, where you feel about the overall all seven cards we have revealed so far, and like how like how good the deck is with just those, and what final card would you want to see for number three? Um, based on what we have so far, based on what Blue Eyes needs, what is, what like final card would like really tie it all together and make you go, oh my god, perfect structure deck for Blue Eyes. Awesome. They nailed it. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on that. But I'm out of here for today. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe if you want to see more things Yu-Gi-Oh! news from me. I will keep you up to date as fast as I can going forward. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.